Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Andrew from Posh Designs, and today I have episode 25 of my weekly series called GFX Tip Friday, where I go into Photoshop, After Effects, Cinema 4D, or another demanding editing program, and I show you guys one tip that can be used in everyday editing. Now in today's episode, I'm going to be showing you guys the all-around famous radial lines, and what radial lines are, are it's basically what you guys see right here on the screen, and what this is most popular for are Call of Duty commentators' thumbnails. You will see this almost on on a, every single Call of Duty commentator thumbnail, and that's just because it really pops. It it kind of um, attracts viewers, and it just uh, it kind of catches your eye when you see this on a thumbnail, and then you see um, the text and whatnot. So what I'm going to do is just show you guys how to do um, the radio lines. So without further ado, let's hop right on into Photoshop and let's get started. So we're going to go to File New. And I'm just going to lay down 1280 by 720 because that's what I use on most of my thumbnails. Uh, if you are using this for something else, uh, just make it whatever composition you want. So I'm going to hit OK. And then what I want to do is I want to come up here to the Marquee tool. And what I'm going to do is I'm basically just going to fill about half of my composition. So uh, we'll say right about there what I want to do. And then I want to come down here and make a new layer. And then I want to right click and say fill. And we want to hit this and say use color. And then pick out whatever color we want these lines to be. So I'm going to be spontaneous and we'll use pink. So I'm going to hit OK. And then that's going to fill that. And I'm going to press Control D, which will basically just deselect it. And then I'm going to come up here to Filter. And I'm going to scroll down to Distort and then Wave. And what I have mine set to is about 36 to 37 on my wavelength. And then the number of generators you can kind of mess around with and find out where you want that to be. I'm going to say about 371. So I have mine at 371, 36, 37 for my wavelength. And my amplitude I haven't touched, but that's at 5 to 35. And the scale is 100 to 100. So I'm going to hit OK. And that's going to basically just make a bunch of lines. So uh, with these lines, now what we want to go is go back to filter, go back to distort, but this time hit polar coordinates. And what polar coordinates is, is it's basically going to uh, allow us to make them radial. Now you guys can rectangular to polar or polar to rectangular, which kind of gives a uh, kind of a cool look. Um, but for the radial ones, you guys are going to want to say rectangular to polar. And what we want to do is hit OK. And there are our radial lines. So uh, this is, like I said, it's a really nice effect and it's really going to capture people's eyes. So if you guys are new to making... Um, let's just say uh, if you guys are new to making thumbnails, if you guys are new to partnerships and you don't know how to attract a lot of viewers, this is going to be one great way um, through thumbnails. And thumbnails are what the viewer will first see and what will first grab someone's eye. So definitely I would recommend using these. Um, use a really bright color like this bright pink or uh, bright blue, bright green, anything that will really attract the eye and make viewers say, hey, I want to watch this video. So I hope this video did help you. If you do have any questions or concerns, please leave them in the comment sections below I would definitely respond to them ASAP and if you guys did like this video please give it a big thumbs up it keeps these videos coming and it just keeps uh, GFX Super Friday up and alive so guys my name is Andrew from Posh Designs I make quality graphics for free and I make your visions a reality No, my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh, oh, just let me oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh, oh, just let me oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh. All that shit, just let me go Oh, words and taste makers, makers, no chaser Gets the blood flowing like a fucking pacemaker Cut the middle man